you all know level 974, or Kitty's House, right? You know, I'd say it's probably in the top five most popular backrooms levels of all time, but not much is known about what's deeper into Kitty's House. You know, this calm and wholesome level with the pink walls and Kitty itself has some pretty dangerous secrets. And that's what I'm here for, of course. Because today, I'm going to be explaining a couple sub-levels that take place beyond the main part of Kitty's house. And I'll be showing you why it might not be a good idea to explore deeper in this level, even if it seems safe. From a strange counter entity named Puppy to the ruins of an old part of Kitty's house, these are sub-levels of Backrooms Level 974. Let's get into it, shall we? So first up, let's go over level negative 974, or Puppy's Domain. Now this is a level that pretty much mirrors Kitty's house, except it's negative, which means it's gonna be more dangerous, more volatile, more glitchy, and just less understood. Now, if you're a big OG of the channel, you'll know that I briefly mentioned this level way back over a year ago, but back then, we didn't know much about it, not much is cataloged, now we do. Level negative 974 has been classified as a class two difficulty and is genuinely unsafe and very unsecure with a low but dangerous entity count. There's only one entity, but it's very dangerous. The level is compromised of several sprawling hallways that loop and that wind around each other, very similar to level zeros, except that's about all they have in common with level zero because the hallways here are grayscale and dark. The entire level is desolate and volatile. The gray carpeted floors feel old and stinky, and the lights on the ceilings are empty and they're very lifeless. The level tends to feel suffocating, actually, and very small and cramped, rather than regular Kitty's house feeling small but comfortable and safe. This is the exact opposite. The lights in the ceiling have been noted to be very disorienting, and sometimes they're misshapen. They don't seem like they're actually there. Some even seem liquid, like they wave around. The shapes are inconsistent, the light level is inconsistent, it's all not the same. The level also has absolutely zero sounds and zero smells to it. Even if you talk or yell or make noise, you can't hear any sounds, which means you can't scream for help, of course. There are absolutely no tools, no food or water or any supplies or anything like that here, and even if someone leaves that stuff here for you, the level will dispose of it. The only thing in these empty gray hallways is the entity that lives here, known as Puppy. Now, Puppy is said to be around 9 feet tall, or 2.8 meters for those that don't speak American. Ah, funny. And it looks like a vaguely humanoid shadow. Puppy acts almost as a black hole and absorbs all visible light around itself when it walks near it, meaning that if you're in a hallway and Puppy's approaching you, the lights near you will get sucked into Puppy and it'll be black and you can't see anything. The shape of Puppy shows no visible fingers or toes or facial features or anything like that, and it just seems to be one big misshapen shadowy figure. Now, despite not having visible eyes or ears or anything, Puppy can sense where you're at on the level and can find you very easily by hunting you down. Now, Puppy has never been seen walking. It's actually thought that Puppy just teleports everywhere it wants to go with the snap of a finger or just a thought. But it only seems to do this when you're not looking directly at it, meaning that if you turn around just in time to see it, it'll have to stay 100% still until you look away. Now you might feel the need to look away because Puppy is very disturbing to look at and some people have actually reported saying that it's completely impossible to stare, almost like it's against human nature to see this unnatural shadow black hole thing. A puppy gets even more disturbing though, because it doesn't actually outright attack you physically. Instead, it relies on an attack similar to Pinhead, where it'll psychologically break you down until you don't have any more juice left in you and you start to panic and go into a psychotic episode and lose the ability to move. And once you go into this paralysis, puppy will leave and then the level itself will consume you into its own fibrous carpet. Now, we don't know if Puppy is working with this level as a way to get the level food, or if the two work separately or something, but it can pretty much be assumed that the level eats people and Puppy is just a part of that process. Now, the only way to get sent here is to make Kitty in Kitty's house mad, which can be done in a couple of surprising ways. You could take one of their stuffed animals, or you could be too loud and obnoxious, and if you do either one of those, Kitty will run at you and they'll slap you, and you'll be sent to this level, the negative version, almost as if it's like a punishment. 
Now, some say that you can get sent here by no clipping through the bathroom in Kitty's house on accident. That's not confirmed though. In order to exit this level, you need to find a strange looking toy artifact thing on the floor, fall asleep next to it with it in your hands without looking at puppy, of course, or, or puppy will scare you into staying awake. And then once you fall asleep, you'll wake up back at Kitty's house and then you'll need to give that artifact to Kitty in order to make it up to them. So yeah, that's the negative version of Kitty's house, level negative 974, pretty much a timeout or purgatory type zone for people who don't deserve to be in Kitty's house. I think it actually plays pretty well as a negative version. It seems scary enough and the entity puppy is definitely scary enough. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. So next up for the video is level 974.1. Now this is the next sub-level in sequential order and it is actually very physically close to the regular Kitty's house. It actually takes place out of bounds of that level and it's classified as a class 2 difficulty simply for it being more dangerous and having a more volatile and hostile environment. It takes the appearance of a strange house-like structure with similar decorations to Kitty's house, except everything here seems very old, dusty, volatile, and abandoned. The walls that were once pink and vibrant are now old and rotten and torn. The rooms that were once cozy and relaxing with beds and lights are now empty and, and lonely. And there's these strange abandoned stuffed animals here and just this entire vibe that something left here fast. Feels like Kitty abandoned this specific zone for some reason. We don't know why as of now, but a theory is that somehow an entity maybe infested this part of the level and Kitty had to leave and lock it inside, or that the level collapsed somehow and its stability got too dangerous and Kitty had to leave and set up shop somewhere else. We really don't know. What we do know is that the level is completely empty. There has not been any creatures, any life form sighted here. All we know is that it is so unnatural and uncanny to even be here. Because it seems like it's a part of Kitty's house, but it's not. It's old and gray, and you can tell it used to be nice, but now it's not anymore. It's about the size of a normal two-story house, and it's the same level of abandonment throughout the whole thing. The bathrooms here are old and dirty, and the bedrooms have the same decor as Kitty's house, like I was saying, but it's all dusty and abandoned. The strange stuffed animals here look ripped up and torn apart as well, almost like they were torn apart maybe by Kitty? The level is only accessed by finding a painting in Kitty's house, ripping the painting off the wall and jumping into the wall behind it. That's how you get here. It's almost like Kitty's trying to hide this level for some reason. Now there's nothing outright dangerous, so it's really weird that this level even exists. Why was it abandoned? Why is it still here? Why is Kitty hiding it? We don't have the answer to any of those questions, of course, but if you do want to get there, you need to leave. So in order to do that, you have to go to a bedroom in the sub-level, find one of those weird toys, no clip back to Kitty's house, and then take that toy to Kitty, and seemingly that'll make it happier. It creeps me out that this level even exists right under Kitty's house. You know, it feels like a, a basement that you'd be too scared to go into as a kid, a place that's off limits. I don't know, it's strange, but I really like it though. So yeah, those are two sub-levels of Kitty's House. I hope you enjoyed. I know y'all love the sub-level series. I love making it. It really does expand the lore. If you want more, drop a like. Thank you so much for your support. I love and appreciate all of you. Check all the links below if you want my Twitter, Instagram, other channels, and comment what other levels that you want to see the old Brewster go over. With all that said, hope you're enjoying November so far because Brugmas is coming soon this December for the third year in a row. If you're hyped for Brugmas, also leave a like. And uh, yeah. I'll see you later on any of my channels. Peace.